Atlanta. Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, Nuts for Art. I'm out here at the Willamette River and I thought I'd stop and make a short video. I have not really had a lot of time to do um, YouTube videos, but I think I'm going to make an effort anyways to make more regular videos. Um, things are getting really intense in our country and on the planet. The mass extinction, the deaths of the mass extinction, the laissez-faire attitude of our elected officials and our government agencies that we use our tax dollars, our very own tax dollars, give Gina McCarthy her salary. Uh, it, it, it's, you know, Allison McFarland, the new head of the NRC, all these people are paid with our tax dollars, the Department of Energy. Where do you think it comes from? Us. And we're giving them our money for them to lie to us, to underreport. You know what? I was thinking about this. The children of St. Louis, they haven't even been counted. Those are people that just self-report the numbers that we see in St. Louis. There is a huge community. This is something that's interesting, and this is what made me want to give this video. You know, we live, when people say, well, there's no racism, yes, there is, and it's all over. It's very easy. There's a lot of misogyny also. I mean, there is this, you know, I am just going to spew it out, and if you're offended, maybe it hits a nerve. White male privilege. Because this business of what happened to Eli Manning, a friend of mine, I posted it on his Facebook page, and he was actually shocked that I put it there. He didn't, he didn't have it so he could view things. So when you're on Facebook and you put out your page and you allow people to post, uh, I was actually stunned. And his response to me was, please private message me stuff like that. Can you imagine what this is going to do to the Manning family? Now this is a man who has a daughter. Not one time did he even consider the victim in that scenario. And, uh, that's because Eli, or Manning is his uh, hero. His hero. Really? That's who our heroes are? Like the NRC, these people were paying them. We're revering them like, oh, they know how to handle the nuclear shit. Well, right now, it looks like Indian Point in two months they're going to say, oh, we did have a meltdown, a partial meltdown, but don't worry. We put it out. It's okay. It's no big deal. Until it fucking blows up, excuse my language, until it blows up, that's when they'll tell us, I guess. So, you know, I, I'm putting out this video because we need to have real conversations. Uh, I was listening just now to a radio broadcast that was suggesting, strongly suggesting, Sean's, Sean interviewed someone from the SGT report, a man from Australia. And I'll put the link in here. I don't remember the name of the organization, but it's basically... You know, for us to reunite, we have to hold our elected officials accountable. We have to go to the city council meetings. We have to stop the, the local. We have to call them out on their crimes. Like Hillary Clinton, who now it secretly came out that Hillary Clinton told her staff privately, stay inside when you come in, wash your clothes. And then a month later went to Japan and said, don't worry, we're not going to test any food for radiation from Fukushima. And our government still does not test food from Fukushima. In fact, our country, from my understanding, from the things I've seen, we import more food from Fukushima than any other nation. While other nations are banning their food, we're taking it in. What's that telling you? Uh, Indian Point is having extreme problems, and the government's allowing Antergy to say, oh, don't worry, it's still infinitesimal amounts. Really? Nine million Becquerels per Pico, nine million Pico Curies per liter? Eight million? I think it was eight million. Beg your pardon. I mean, unless it's been removed from my Facebook page, that was there last week. You know, I... I'm going to get more active with my local community. I used to be, actually, to be honest, uh, before I got investigated by the Capitol Police. I think that worked on me. Uh, but I'm going to have to get off my ass and get to those meetings and figure out a way to get there. Because, actually, it's really important. Here in Eugene, even, they're making some pretty dramatic things. They're trying. Right here in Eugene, there's a huge thing. People did not want Kesey Square sold, and now they, they look like they're going to sell it. I'm ho there was a movement to say that they're going to try to get it to reverse it. But Keezy Square, like that's a part of Americana that this city is just like, ah, out with that stuff. Well, there's reasons behind that. but there's, And this is what the guy said. We need to look at the economic reasons that has caused the, the unemployment, the homelessness in this town. 
there's a, a lot of youth that are homeless that are from this town. Their parents get pissed off at them and kick them out. I mean, that's, I guess, the American way. I think we need to maybe look at that and provide social resources for people to keep their families together when they're teenagers and, you know, give people services to help them. I mean, yeah, I am a plain and liberal, and I am, I guess, you know, united we stand. It's the United States of America. You know, we actually, no one, you know, the Europeans, we didn't belong here. This we we didn't discover America. Let's just get real. We invaded America. We killed people, lots of people, lots of natives. We wiped out their entire countries. All their tribes gone, very small. And now more than sixty percent of the uranium mines have already all the uranium tailings. The Indian people are getting really sick, the Native Americans, all of them. I mean it's it's disgusting. And nobody says anything. People in Flint, people in St. Louis, the Native Americans, people are popping up with diseases and it's from the nuclear industry. And our elected officials are like, well, we have to take the slow train. We have to figure out the funding. We need more studies. No, actually, we don't need more studies. We need you to admit and disclose. It's like, I was listening to this guy talk about his mission in life is the disclosure product. You want project he wants the government to admit there's UFOs. I'm like, why doesn't he want them to admit that radiation is killing our planet? That we need to pour science into finding solutions instead of paying people to twist like pretzels to lie to everyone and kill not just the population. It's killing the environment. Minor detail, folks. You forgot about the animals that you love so well on this planet that sustains life unless you don't want life on the planet. I mean... Maybe that's the disclosure project. Maybe the UFO thing and the uh, killing of the human beings is like, you know. So see, that's gaslighting. This is a perfect example. This is how they want us to rant and rave. And, uh, you know, I, you know it, it is inconscionable that we have a country where, uh, you know, a young black man gets stopped by a cop on his bicycle on the way to work and asks, where are you going and what are you doing? When he's dressed, white shirt, black, you know, black pants, with the white shirt and driving to work. Seriously. That's my nephew's life. So, you know what? People say there's no racism. That's bullshit. And people put up with it just like the stupid NFL thing. I was a big NFL fan. And then as you start discovering, man, they say that these people beat the shit out of their wives. They destroy these men. They turn them into these, you know, they brutalize their bodies. I mean, I'm sure the suicide rate among the NFL, ex-NFL players is extremely high at early death. I mean, this is, these are our heroes. Did this guy, Eli Manning, like, really? He did that to his coach? Like, seriously? To his physical therapist that was trying to help him in college? I mean, what an a-hole. And his parents, instead of making him responsible, have done nothing but, you know, cover his ass and destroy that woman's life. And then they gladly paid her off. So it's, it's, it's unconscionable. We have to stop this. And I think it's going to come. That guy is right. We need to start getting engaged in local politics. Um, you know, I'm going to start looking into the city council meetings and see when I can go and make time in it in my budget. And in my time budget, I mean. You know? Listen to this, River. what we need. Clean water. Not empty water. You know, I was... I... I was attempting to get, attempting to get engaged with, uh, or you know, involved and have interviews some different people on my YouTube, on my uh, show, The Age of Vision. If anybody from Oklahoma, where there's all that fracking earthquakes, wants to call me and talk to me about your experience, please contact me at The Age of Vision at Gmail. It's not The Age of Vision, just Age of Vision at Gmail. <laughs>